Hey guys, Justin at Vintage 55 Restorations. Um, doing a uh, how-to video. Um, I'm updating a couple of ones I did in the past, uh, redoing them in a better way. But uh, anyway, this is the most common uh, thing that I get asked about, um, and it's also the most bang for your buck thing, um, polishing. So getting scuzzy stuff to look good again um, without re-chroming, without nickel plating, without you know, having to replate it. Um, that being said, not everything you can polish, you know, this looks pretty gross, but I know that this is polishable right now. Um, and I'm going to show you, I guess, how to do it by hand, not with power tools. Um, but, uh, there are plenty of stuff that you can't, uh, that you can't polish. If it's obviously rusted, uh, painted metal, you're going to mess up the paint if you do it. I'm talking about chrome, stainless, uh, aluminum is really soft. If you do that, you might scratch it. Um, how to polish, essentially how to polish chrome. Um, holes with chrome, when you get holes in it, that's called pitting, and uh, that's when the rust actually goes all the way through the plated metal, the, the plating, and you can't bring that back. Once it's gone, it's gone. But your surface rust, rust, which is on top of the chrome, and that is polishable, and it makes a big difference. So this is a, um, a, a top piece, like a control cover for a, a box fan. Um, and uh, I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to get this stuff off. So, um, first off, nitro gloves. We get uh, really gross with this a lot of the time, and we're actually using a harder chemical later, so I'm going one. But um, all you need, different stuff we're going to be using, uh, steel wool, brass brush, 3M compound, and two different kinds of paint stripper. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So, if you look, there's just... It's basically, it looks gross, but this is this is surface rust, and I can feel it. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take steel wool, which is, there's a, a gradient on these. Coarse is like basically a Brillo pad. This is triple uh, zero, extra fine, because um, I know this needs a little bit more grit to take it off. You can also do, uh, I usually try to start with quadruple zero to, uh, to make sure I'm not scratching whatever I'm doing. But you get your steel wool. And this is 3M rubbing compound. Um, you can use any kind of uh, cutting compound polish. Um, essentially, you want something that says rubbing, cutting. You don't want something that says polishing necessarily because that's going to be a liquid uh, like Brasso and stuff like that. This is actually have has sand in it. Um, and it, it, that's what actually gets the, the rust off. So you just get a little bit of this, put it under steel wool. And then you just put a nice coat, a little even coat on this, and then tight, hold it tight, and tight little circles. And you just rub, 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 in little circles, pressing down. And then there's going to be a film, and you wipe it off. And you guys can see, even just with that one pass, the difference that that made. And you can see the little tiny dots in here. That would be the pitting, but like I said, you can't get that back. So if you want to get rid of that, you got to replate. You have to take it into a chrome shop and get it replated. But if it's just something you know that you just want shiny, a lot of the time, um, if you're doing something and it's it's not the best looking, but you just don't want it to be rusty, this is this is what you're gonna do, and. Uh, it's real easy, like I said, real easy to do, and really, really um, satisfying when you do it. I'm just gonna show you real quick on half of this, and then I'm gonna show you a couple of the other, the other things I use. Like I said, you gotta kinda put your muscle into it. It's not gonna, just won't come off by itself. And if you let this dry out and you don't have enough compound on it, it's not gonna polish. It's that compound, like I said, is what actually does the polishing. Okay, second thing I use sometimes is a brass wire brush. Um, there's steel, there's plastic, Brass. The steel ones is going to scratch everything up real bad. Um, if you really need to get some off, you can get some off with that. Um, if uh, 
if it's just something to clean, you can use a plastic brush. Brass is softer metal, and so I use this to get into little places like this, like these cracks and these letters that uh, you can't really get to with steel wool. <laughs> My daughter wants to help. She just came over. Hi, Ellie. When she, uh, when she hears me working, she just instinctively yeah. tries to... What'd you, what do you got? You bring me something? She brought me a drawing. I hope this is not how she feels inside right now, because this looks like a serial killer's drawing. <laughs> Here you go. Keep drawing. Daddy's doing a video. Okay, so you take your brass brush, and it's the same, the same idea as the steel wool. You're just uh, using this instead. But like I said, use this sparingly, and don't press as hard with it. It's really just to kind of get in these little numbers and letters in this crack right here. And little seams, it's good, good for little seams. So. But like I said, it's a little bit heavier duty, so if there's a little bit of rust that you can't get off, that's what you want to use. Um, so, we got those ones polished, that side polished, and we'll clean it off in a minute. Um, this side, you can see it's wet, I have something soaking. You can see it's a little bit rougher in this one than the other side was, just slightly. Um, I sprayed this inside it a couple minutes ago. It's called Citrus Strip. It's a, uh, a paint stripper, um, but uh, it actually... I'm telling you, she always wants to help me. Um, it's a it's a very uh, uh, user friendly paint stripper. It's not super, you know, super strong. It's not going to burn your hands. Um, although still wear gloves. But um, so try this if you're just at home. Um, it will kind of stain anything gets on though. So make sure you do it on something. Um, this is a heavier duty version, uh, clean strip. In a spray bottle that you, that you can mix and uh, that stuff will burn your hands real bad so you have to uh, um, keep gloves on but either way whatever you use you put it on there and you let it sit for about five minutes and it's supposed to be paint stripper but it works wonderful on uh, surface rust so it's not going to harm your chrome but it will eat the rust and it'll break it down a little bit so you do that and then you take your polishing tools and polish that um, after you wipe it off because that uh, stripper will actually work as a lubricant and it won't let the compound uh, polish. So, anyway, um, now that I have that paint stripper on there, I'm gonna wipe it off real quick so that it's not, like I said, lubricating it. And do the same thing that I did on the other side. Exact same process if you use the stripper first. Yeah. This little crack right here. Use that brass brush, like I was saying. Can't get in there with the steel wool very easily. leave that section not cleaned off so you can see the difference and then like I said you got to get that film off hey hey you want to help daddy here here we go just wash that off oh actually I'm gonna show you one more thing so there's a little bit of uh, old house paint on here, and that usually won't polish off, it's too hard. Razor blade, and you just kind of skim that, and that's gone. And then you polish it over with your steel wool to get rid of the actual the little, little remnant of it. But. Okay, and that's it. So if you look, See this section right here? I did not polish, and just how gross that is right there. And obviously up close it's a little bit 
more noticeable, the pitting and stuff, but if you look at, at this difference right here, it's, it's just extremely different. And that's, that's how you get that whole gross looking piece to something presentable again. Um, real easy, real, uh, <laughs> real, uh, real easy, real easy to do and, uh, makes it, uh, makes it really pop really quick. Ah, huh. Yeah. Anyway, Justin Vinch 55, frustrations, and uh, real easy how to polish. <laughs>